how to fix the error 215 dim configuration error now as you can see it says that there is a problem with the RAM module and you need to uh, take it out and put it back in so I'll show you the PC, the PC that I've got right here so at the moment I've got the memory module right here uh, placing on the dim slot 2 and 3 or oh, yep 2 and 3 right there so it needs to be um, sit in the slot 4 3 then 2 then 1 as the message says here the sim slot needs to be in 3, 4 3 2 and then 1 so if it's not seen the proper slot um, then you basically get this um, error message now you can press on the F1 boot to put into your system and it still should work however to uh, get rid of this error you should uh, really be um, putting your RAM module in the right slot so what you do is you know, turn off the computer or untap the power cables in the computer so I need to take out the RAM modules so what I'll do I'm just going to pull this one out it's not so easy because I've got one hand holding the camera so I'll take the one out now on the motherboard it should show you which one goes um, which slot number so I zoom in so you can see you can see there it's say there um, dim 4 so I'm just gonna pop my hand right in so right there it shows you right there so you've got dim 1 2 3 and 4 so it's going from the CPU so 1 2 3 4 so you need to go into 4 and then 3 and any extra RAM you got left you will populate with the slot 2 and slot 1 so I will move this slot number 2 to get my module out Now I'll pop this RAM module into slot number one. Oh, sorry, slot number four. So I need to get it in properly. Make sure that it sits in the slot properly before you push it down. Otherwise, you could damage your RAM module. So that looks like it's going in the slot, so I'm just going to push it down and then push it down to the end as well, make sure it all go into the right place. So here you can see it all properly clipping, and here it's properly clipping, and the RAM module properly from 4, 3, and I got uh, 2 and 1 uh, extra left. So I'll put this uh, CD back down. I plug in my power cable or turn on my PC then I won't touch it so I just turn it on I'm not touching the internal components <coughs> I'll check my monitor to see if I still get the error so the computer boots up I just wait and now the error message has gone and that's it thanks for watching this video